Hey you guys, today we're going to be talking about the VFX behind our latest short film, Perspective. The, the biggest and most obvious effect in this video is the fact that we're duplicating our main actor, but it's not just a typical actor on this side, actor on that side, splitting it down the middle. It's actually him looking through windows, seeing scenes taking place in the past. It was an effect that we knew from the beginning that we were gonna have to deal with, and we tried to come up with a couple of different solutions beforehand. Nate wrote the script, and we immediately knew that we were either gonna have to cast twins, somebody who looked very similar to our main actor, or we were gonna need to do this in visual effects. Uh, we definitely looked for twins, and we looked for somebody who looked similar enough to our actor, Taylor, um, but we didn't quite find it in time, and we were on kind of a time crunch, so we ended up going with the VFX route. Going into the shoot, we did a lot of things to kind of prep for this visual effect. We knew what we were gonna be doing on set, so we were able to plan accordingly. Now, if you haven't seen Perspective, highly recommend you go check it out. It's very good, Nate did a great job. Uh, you can do so by clicking on the link in the corner above or in the first link below. Now, because we knew what we were gonna be doing when we shot the film, we were able to shoot accordingly. So, the first thing we did is we filmed Taylor going through acting out the scene. We also had Haley, the actress, acting out her end of the scene as well, outside. She had to run to do quick costume changes and uh, we were able to film all three of those scenes all at once. So what you're seeing there is actually Haley in real time acting out each of those scenes. If you will go back and watch it again, it's actually not that much time. Then once we filmed that, we filmed Taylor acting out a scene opposite of Haley. We shot it on a locked camera and we made sure that they didn't overlap each other so that Taylor was clearly on one side of the frame, Haley was clearly on the other. And it's very important that we do this with a lockdown camera. Um, I'll explain why here in a minute. So we did that for the first scene, we did that for the second scene, and we did that for the third scene. The third scene we actually shot from two different angles, one from within the room, and then one from the side where David faces off with himself. Then that was a wrap, and then we moved into editing. And this, well, let's go do it. So, once you have everything filmed, you open up After Effects and you drag in your footage. I'm not gonna go too in depth with this stuff, uh, assuming you kinda understand how After Effects works a little bit, but I will break it down a little bit. So, we drag in our footage. I'm just gonna use this first scene as an example. This is the full take that we use. And then we put in the lockdown shot of Taylor acting out his end of the scene. We make sure they're lined up nicely and then we start masking him out. Now when you mask him out, remember he is moving around, so just be sure to account for any movements that he makes. Next, we will track our footage. Now an important thing when doing this is we knew we were gonna have to be tracking a lot. We also knew that she was going to be interacting with Taylor who wasn't actually there at the time. So we set up a little stand and had her look at that for her eye line. We also were able to use that as a tracking marker, making our lives a little easier in post. So we tracked the whole thing. Um, towards the end, or rather the beginning here, we do have to kind of track manually, but because it's just in the beginning here, it's not too big a deal, and it follows it pretty nicely. So then we place them in. Uh, I usually do this by bringing the opacity down to around 50%. Sometimes I'll even disable the mask so I can compare it to where the table positioning is and things like that, and rotate if necessary. I'll feather it, then you'll color correct so that they match. I added just a single layer of curves and I did add also a camera lens blur because the scene starts out of focus and comes into focus. So we want his shot to match Haley's shot as good as possible. The last thing I do in the actual scene is I get rid of that stand and then I add a pretty simple solid layer and just mask around it to get rid of all that studio space and things like that to kind of make the scene feel a little bit more isolated. And then, here we are. Now we have a completely tracked in shot of Taylor acting alongside Haley. But you see there is a little bit of an issue. Window sills don't usually behave like this, so we're gonna need to we're gonna need to fix some stuff. The last thing to do is mask out this windowsill and Taylor here in the foreground. And that is done by very time consuming rotoscoping. It's very easy, very simple, just again, very time consuming, and it's not very fun. So I'm not gonna show you guys doing it, but look, I did. So once your scene is rotoscoped in and the scene is all good, then you will end up with something like this.
All in all, uh, is that everything? All in all, not too difficult. It made it much, much easier that we planned ahead for this visual effect. We knew what we were gonna be doing in the end, so when shooting, we were able to uh, plan accordingly. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. If you haven't seen the short film already, be sure you do that by clicking the first link in the description below. If you guys liked what we did here with the short film and behind the scenes videos that we posted, then you may want to consider subscribing because we have a new short film that we'll be releasing next week. And then um, after that, we'll be releasing behind the scenes videos of that one, much like we did with this one. And it's quite, it's, 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 it's funny. It's not, a, it's not a sad video, it's a funny video. Thank you again so much for watching, really appreciate it. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, like this video, and as a little treat, here is the trailer for next month's short film.